Good morning kids! I am Teacher Lance and I'll be your teacher for today and for the rest of the semester. Today, we are going to study colors and shapes. So this will just be a continuation of your conversation class, Unit 2. Okay, so to begin this class, we are going to sing a song first. The song is entitled, The Black Cat Song. So let's go and listen to the Let's Go Kids as they sing this song. And also, you can sing with them. Let's go! Page 15. D. Listen, point, and sing. The Black Cat Song. Green grass, green grass, blue sky, blue sky, black cat, black cat, yellow eyes, red birds, red birds, blue sky, blue sky, black cat, yellow eyes, white clouds, white clouds, blue sky, blue sky, black Alright, what a very fun song! Did you enjoy that song? I hope you did! So now, we have the energy to learn more about colors and shapes. So let's go to Let's Learn More. Let's learn more words in conversation. The first word is a triangle. A triangle is a shape that has three sides and three corners. So we call it a triangle. Can you think of something that has the shape of a triangle? Alright, so we can give a hat or a cone. Those are triangle. So let's go to the next word. The next word is a square. Alright, a square is a shape with four corners and four equal sides. So, what are the things that we can see that has the shape of a square? Good job! We can give picture frames or windows. Some of the windows are square. Okay, this shape is, what is it? It's a square. Very good! So, let's go and learn more. The next word is a circle. Okay, this is a circle. It has one side but no corner. We call it a circle. Can you think of something that has the shape of a circle? Alright, we can say a watch or a plate or a birthday cake. Those things has the shape of a circle. Alright, so let's go to the next one. Say, a star. Okay, it's a star. Can you think of something that has the shape of a star? Very good. We can have lanterns. So, the star looks like this. Say, a star. Okay, very good. So let's go to the next one. It's a heart. Okay, say a heart. All right, it's a heart. We usually see this shape during Valentine's Day or Valentine's celebration. The shape looks like this. Can you show me a shape of a heart? Okay, very good, kids. So now let's go to the next one. It's an oval. Say oval very good can you think of something with the shape of an oval very good we can have eggs they have oval shaped and we can also think of a mirror so we have a lot of things that has an oval shape can you say it with me oval 
Very good. So the next one is a rectangle. Can you say it with me? Say a rectangle. Very good. A rectangle is a shape that has four corners and four sides, wherein every parallel side has the same length. Okay? We call it a rectangle. Can you think of something that has the shape of a rectangle? Very good! We can say a door. A door has a rectangle shape. A computer, a phone, or a notebook. Their shape is rectangle. Can you say it with me again? Say rectangle. Very good! So now, let's review all the words again. Let's begin with the first one. Page 16. Let's learn more. A. Learn the words. Number one. A triangle. A triangle. Number two. A square. A square. Number three. A circle. A circle. Number four. A star. A star. Number five. A diamond. A diamond. Number six. A heart. A heart. Number seven. An oval. An oval. Number eight. A rectangle. A rectangle. Okay, so those are the words that are related to shape. So now, we can use them in sentences. So let's go and make sentences. Look at the picture. The shape is a star. So we can say, this is a star. It's blue. It's a blue star. The balloon is star. And its color is blue. So we can say, it's a blue star. Very good. Next one. This is an oval. It's orange. It's an orange oval. So look at the picture. It is oval and it is orange. So it's an orange oval. Very good. The next picture shows a heart balloon. Okay, say like this. This is a heart. It is red or it's red. It's a red heart. Alright, next one. This is a square. It's yellow. It's a yellow square. This is a circle. It's pink. It's a pink circle. Alright. This is a diamond. It's yellow. It's a yellow diamond. Alright, for the next one, this is a rectangle. It's brown. It's a brown rectangle. Look, it is a rectangle. So let's go to the next one. This is a triangle. It's red. It's a red triangle. Okay, now we can make our own sentences with the following words that are related to shape. So now, let's go to listen and do. So, teacher Lance will show and say some of the activities and we are going to do it, okay? So let's go! The first word is, pick up your pencil. So, can you see your pencil on your desk? Do you have a pencil on your desk? What you're going to do is to get your pencil and pick it up, okay? Pick up your pencil. Very good. Next one. We have draw a triangle. So, using your pencil, you're going to draw a triangle on a piece of paper, okay? Say, draw a triangle. Very good. Number three, pick up a red marker. Pick up a red marker. 
Okay, you're going to get a red marker, okay, and then put it up. Okay, raise it like this, okay? Pick up a red marker. Okay, so let's go to the next word for the number four. We have draw a picture. Draw a picture. Okay, here you're going to use, um, you can use your marker or you can use your pencil and then you're going to draw, you're going to draw on a piece of paper, okay? Draw a picture, okay? Very good, kids. Let's review them all. Number one, pick up your pencil. Number two, draw a triangle. Number three, pick up a red marker. Number four, draw a picture. Okay, so those are the following activities that we learned today. So now let's go and learn the phonics K and G with the letters C and D using listen, point, and say. So we have the first word, k, k, cat, k, k, cat, k, k, cat. Cat is a very cute house animal. Do you have a cat? All right. So can you say it with me? Say k, at, cat. Good job. So let's go to the next word. We have k, k. Coat, k k coat, k k coat. Okay, this is a coat. Okay, do you have a coat? Do you like wearing coats? Coat is a kind of clothing. So, can you say it with me? Say k oat coat. Good job. Now let's go to k k. Cow, k k cow, k k cow. Okay, this is a cow. This is a cow. Cow is a domestic animal. Have you seen a cow already? Can you say k ow cow? Good job. The next one is g g girl. G, g, girl. G, g, girl. Okay, so girl is a young female. Okay, we call them girl. Some of you are girls. Okay, can you say it with me? G, earl, girl. Very good. So the next word is g, g, gate. G, g, gate. G, G, gate. Okay, gate is in the outermost part of our house. Our school has a gate too. Okay, what about you? What is the color of your gate? Good job. Say, G, eight, gate. Very good. The next one, say, G, G. Goat, g g goat, g g goat. Okay, a goat is a kind of animal that eats grass. We call them goats. Okay, can you say it with me? Say g oat goat. Very good. So what is the sound of the goat? All right. So now. Let's review all the phonics words first. We have k k cat, k k cat, k k cat, k k coat, k k coat, k k coat, k k cow, k k cow, k k cow, g g girl, g. G girl, g g girl, g g gate, g g gate, 
g g gate g g goat g g goat g g goat so those are our phonics words and now we can sing along with the phonics chant let's do listen point and chant let's listen to the let's go kids and also let's sing along with them page 18 b listen point and chant the cg phonics chant Alright, so that is the end of our class. Today, we learned about the shapes and also we learned the sound of the phonics K and G. I hope that you learned something from Teacher Lance and also I hope that you enjoyed this class. Thank you and goodbye. God bless.